Uh, right from the YouTube Dojo, this is Week Now, the Daily Viewer, and now, your host for this program, and apparently the 2018 Oscars, Ellie Cunning Muir. Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update, I am Ellie Cunning Muir. Tonight's Cal Spotlight winners are, Ace Red's fan had some reviews, with his reviews and fan-made movie controls and movie trailers, Superbug, with his sketches and gameplays, Ike Tubes with his YouTube debates and vlogs and whatnot, and Vicky Eisenstein with her comedy videos. So, check out. Now, 2018 might be cool after all. We're getting some cool movies. That's right. Now, listen to this, alright? Listen to this list. You have The Incredibles 2, you have Avengers Infinity War. Black Panther, and Ready Player One. That's right. Now, my question to the directors is this. How were those films last year, huh? I mean, for goodness sakes. I'm telling you something. We need some really good movies this year. We really do. We don't need to deal with any bad stuff in 2018. Why? Too many nightmares last year. Too many nightmares. That's right. Hashtag no more nightmares in 18. And once again, it's time for tonight's top eight list. Tonight's category. I bet reasons why this year's movies will actually be good. Number eight. Politics will not be mentioned during any of those movies. Number seven. The actors will actually be really good. Number six, the characters won't suck for once. Number five, the directors of this year's movies are actually smart. Number four, the people who are making this year's movies actually have brains. Number three, this year's movies have already been nominated for five Oscar awards. Number two, the Kardashians are not in any of this year's movies. And number one, I'm actually talking about those movies on the show right now. Now, my question of the night to you folks is this. Are there any movies coming out in 2018 that you are excited about? Leave your responses down below, will you? Now, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of... This year's movies coming out. We also talk about the upcoming Oscar awards. For more information, return to MP. Ah, yes. 2018 is here. Good news for everybody, or at least the ghosts of Cisco and Ebert. We have new movies. Bad news is, we have to watch horrible acceptance speeches of terrible. And, let's be honest, horrible actors, movies, and directors of 2017. Huh? I mean, seriously. It's only bad enough that last year's Oscars and the Oscars from two years ago were completely racist, but that's just besides the point. Alright? Last year's movies and the movies from the year before, were completely terrible. This year's movies actually have potential. If you don't believe me, then why don't you watch some current movie review? Alright? I'm pretty sure that they will give you some accurate information. Ah, yes. 2018 movies. I think that 2018 is going to be a great year. In terms of movies. Uh, not for us. Especially. But for the ghost of Cisco and Ebert. Speaking of which, here is my Ebert to my Cisco, Adam Muir. And hi. I'm Chicken Nugget Heel Hair. Okay. Now, tonight we are talking about... <laughs> The movies of 2018, this year's movies 
among others, are Avengers and Jurassic World. World. Yes, Jurassic World. Avengers! Infinity War! No, let me do this. Black okay. Panther! Ready Player One! Ant! Ant Man in Ant Man! Now that's gonna be a good move right there. The Incredibles 2. That's yeah, Incredibles 2. Hashtag IGN. And up, get ready. No, 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 kill, kill. Now, the main reason why everybody's excited about Incredibles 2 why? is due to the fact that it has been over a decade since the original. A whole decade? It's, yeah, it's been roughly 14 years since the Adam, listen to this, right? Don't you know that it's been over a decade since the Incredibles event of the box office? You just said that. Yes, but, but here's the thing, alright? The creators of the Incredibles have waited over a decade to make the sequel. Why? Oh, was, it, was it because they are broke? You broke bastards? No. Okay. Listen to this, okay? Brad Bird, okay, the writer of this particular film, had the fart. No, he said that he was open to an idea for a sequel to The Incredibles, but only if he could come up with an idea superior to the original film. I will make up make up an idea, but only if I have a good idea. Ten years later. Oh, me, me has idea. Me put in idea. <laughs> but look at this, right? It's going to be released on June 15th. June? Yep. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Deadpool 2! It's going to give it to you. It's going to give it to you. It's going to give it to you. Stop, 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 stop. What? No, it's, everybody's excited about this. It's that. Deadpool! Deadpool 2! Let me hype! Everybody's uh, acting not so bad. Everyone loves Deadpool! Everyone loves the Incredibles! The first Deadpool one I'm bloody hate! The second one is Aubrey! Awesome! Nice! You are nuts! You're telling me! Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Deadpool came out. Two years ago. I know. It, it was a good movie. Watch it. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. Ooh, Aquaman. Oh, God. Aquaman. You, you don't remember Aquaman? I do. Oh, that's no. great. Evan uh, Craig Ferguson uh, played that uh, character on the Late Late Show back in the day. <laughs> I hope there's some of the movies that are coming out in 2018. Han Solo. The story about Han Solo. Yep. But guys, we have our attention in the wrong places. Being a white, white man, pretty much. But we have to We remember. have Black Panther. That's a black movie right there. I was just going to say black. No! Oh, stop, stop. Wait a minute. It's coming out. Look at this, right? It's coming out during Black History Month. Duh. I, I mean, duh. A black movie about a black pincer will be out on... Yeah, you don't say! It has a no-brainer! But, Adam, think about this for a moment, alright? These are just... These are just some of the movies that are coming out in 2018. Eli. Alright? It's only a matter of time. Wait a minute, Adam, it's only a matter of time before even more movies come out this year. Alright? Of course more movies are going to come out this year. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, now Adam, here's the thing, alright? Not all movies are good. Are, I know. Exactly. Trust me. Do you remember the Oscar season of 2015, 2016? Remember Ratatouille? Uh, that was actually from 2007. No, 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 not the Disney, the well-known one, the other one, the shitty one. 
Really? For every bit Disney movie, there is a shit one. Made by some other corporation that's like... Granny, no, no, I. But wait a minute, Adam. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Adam. I'm talking about the Oscar uh, program that only had one black guy, Chris Rock. Uh -huh. People of color were not on the ballot. No shit. Yeah, so. Eli. I don't back on topic. Black Panther, you have to see it. Deadpool 2, you have to see it. No, The Incredibles 2, that's the one that you really have to And see. Deadpool 2! Yeah, but mostly The Incredibles 2, that's the game. And movie. mostly Deadpool 2! The Incredibles 2! Deadpool! The Incredibles Deadpool. 2! Deadpool. So, what, what do you think? What do you think the great should be? Well, let's just say, for now, it's an ten out of ten. Maybe we will revisit this topic at some point right, during one, next year's Oscar season. One for most of the movies, ten, ten out of ten. Would see again, but for the other ones, but we don't know that yet. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no! It is a guarantee. If Disney launches a movie, there will be one piece of sh company corporation that is going to shit out. Now, so, I don't, wait, 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 keep in mind, Disney not only owns ABC, but it's also owning all Fox-related networks, except for Fox News. Eli, still, if Disney releases a movie, any movie, somebody is going to take it. So for, so for those bootleg movies, 0 out of 10, get out of here. But for the old original movies, like the one that actually had some... Hard work put into them? Good now, job. Adam, there is one more question. Are we going to actually uh, buy the DVDs or are we going to actually uh, go into the theater? I'm going to the theater. I don't know what you're going to do. Again, another program has ended. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I'll see you folks on Monday. That's the news. I'm out, skis. Farewell, bye, farewell.